play CFF. He has a better way of doing it. Of course, Keith Richards, <laughs> Ron Wood, the Rolling Stones. Yes. All right. I couldn't wait to show this song. I love Start Me Up. I love the Rolling Stones. I love uh, all those guys. They're just awesome. Mick Taylor, when he was in there, man, can't you hear me knock? And that is still one of my favorite guitar solos ever. Guys, check out Check out the Rolling Stones. If you haven't actually went through their catalog of songs yet, just bam, bam, bam. Just go one after the other. Spend a day or two, or I guess it'd take a few days to listen to all their songs, but you know what I mean. Study up. Study up. All right. That's what we're doing here. Studying up. Look at some Rolling Stones. This is very indicative or, I mean, you know, common of the Rolling Stones, okay? Because what they do is take blues and rock and roll and they put them together with a little bit of grit and some swagger okay some Mick Jagger swagger and Keith Richards cool and Ron Woods rips ricks licks I mean these guys are just awesome man Charlie Watts R.I.P. Charlie passed the cancer not long ago I, if you didn't know that then um, sorry to break the news to you yes uh, R.I.P. one of the best drummers ever um, he passed of cancer, fighting it, of course. So, in this song, like I said, C F F C F F C F F A sharp, A sharp, C F F. But they're not playing them in the the normal inversions, or, or just say like the normal. I, there's no normal. You wouldn't find them in the most common place, like C F F C F F, and and you probably wouldn't even see it like right C F F. How about here? But that's not the sound they're getting. That would work. Okay, that that's passable, but that that's not what they're doing. The sound that they're getting that the 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 version of this chord, this is an F chord, but I'm doing it in a C chord form. You see, but here's your C. Well, most people make like that, right? Well, everybody, when you're doing it down at the nut here, right, in an open position, there's your C. But if you want to make that movable, you have to pretend, you know, you have to bar that. Change your fingers to these fingers. Now, once you can successfully make that C chord, right? Then you can move that C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. And that gives me my F chord. 
So this is the, the bottom of a C chord, the A chord form, right? Because there's your A. So that's an A chord form of a B, C. I'm just not hitting this root note there because this self-contains the whole chord right there. But then I don't pick the, the fifth string now that I'm not fretting it. Now I'm just picking the four, three, and two string. Now watch. And then this makes the chord shape of the C, but I'm not going to use the pinky because it makes it a lot harder and they're not using it. Okay, if they were using it, I would have practiced up and showed it to you that way, but they're not, they're, this song doesn't, they're not doing, they're not going. It doesn't sound. It goes. And some people, I have students that if they can't do this yet, because this, this is kind of a hard move, you have to miss that middle string there. And this finger, it's very hard for people in the beginning to get, to get that finger to come up and hook over the string below it. It's very hard. Let me give you some advice real quick. Take your hand and make sure it's out in front of the fretboard enough so that your fingertips can come back up and over the strings and hook over them. If, if your knuckle line or your hand is too far back behind the guitar neck, then when you go to fret, your fingers always bump the bottom strings. You gotta move your, move your wrist out. I'm gonna try to get here where you can see, watch. If you're bumping, adjacent strings trying to do these moves like right here my string my fingers now collapse on the string below it if i move my hand out in front of the guitar notice how now this is coming up and hooking over it right um though as i move this part of my hand out i kind of leave this part there almost like an axis look like a pivot point you know this is top secret stuff all right there's not too much of a difference between magician and musician just like magicians don't like to show all the, you know, secrets to the, <laughs> to the, the, the magic tricks, uh, usually musicians, musicians reserve the same sort of, you know, um, trade secrets. That was one of mine. I leave some good information in all my videos, a little Easter egg here and there. Mostly, and I'll admit it, it's for my students in person. I make these videos for them. When I'm working on a song with somebody, then I make a video for them. So it's tailored to what we're working on. It's tailored to their questions to me. But at the same time, I can feed two birds with one seed. I don't like to say kill two birds with one stone. Whatever, I don't want to kill birds. I, mean, I love them. They sing and they, they bring me joy. And they eat mosquitoes. And I live on a tropical island here in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. And it's full of mosquitoes. So... We love birds and we love chickens and we love dragonflies and little lizards and anything else that eats mosquitoes and bugs. All right. All right. Um, all right. Back to the tune here. Uh, all right. Let's see. How else can I say? Let's see. So the fastest way, this, this is not unique to the Rolling Stones doing this. The fastest way to go from what we call the one chord to the four chord. The fastest way to do that is connecting the A chord form to the C chord form. Okay? You connect the A chord form. I'm sorry, not to the, to the C you're gonna connect the A chord form to the G chord form, not the C chord form. C, oh yes, you are, I'm sorry. The A chord form of the C, and then you're doing the C chord form of the F. Okay, just to be clear, we're doing the A chord form of the C, right, but I'm just holding this little piece like that right and then I'm because I need my free finger to make the move so I just don't need that bass C note I have another C note right here so that's a complete C chord strings four three and two and then I, I put these down like I said I'm not using my pinky because it's not in the song it wouldn't be wrong if you did musically speaking but it's just wrong because they didn't use it in the song okay if you want to make it your own way after you learn it the right way then you can make it your own way all you want I suggest it that's how you make up your own stuff Okay. Some students I have in the beginning, okay, I started giving advice about hooking your hand over. If you can't hook it over yet, it takes time to be able to do that. Where you can be here. 
sometimes this one doesn't work out. Well, you just, just do the bottom and you, watch, it still sounds great. But just do two strings instead of three then. If you're not gonna put this one to take the place of this note on the fourth string, well then when you do the move, simply just use two strings. The, the second and third string. See, I'm just hitting these two strings, right? C to F there too. It's just a different way of doing it now because that's the so the sound of the song. During this part when he's doing C to F, it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound right. This C to F sounds right. C eighth fret sixth string, make the power chord. I'm doing the blue shuffle right. The, the, just these two fingers are down, my middle finger is just hovering, and then I go right under it, same move. So. Stones, some Keith Richards moves. And if you notice, he loves Chuck Berry. Almost every single song, he's got to put that kind of Chuck Berry. You know. so addicting i don't want to stop playing it you know all right oh by the way i would i just got my youtube studio downloaded on my computer and it gives me a bunch of stats about my videos i'm shocked to find out that um like 75 percent of the people that are watching my videos and they're re-watching them over and over again so i i i'm assuming that that means that they're helpful to them and they're probably re-watching them to learn but they're not subscribing or hitting the like button. I don't know why they wouldn't. It's free to do it and it doesn't uh, cost anything. And then you can even go on your profile and hide what you like and what you subscribe to so that it's nobody else's business. Um, so I can't imagine why people wouldn't except for the same reason why I don't. <laughs> that I forget to do it and then people mention it and then I remember. And I don't want to sound like I'm begging for subscribers or likes. Um, because I'm doing this for a different reason. This is to teach somebody specifically something. If you can get uh, knowledge from it, if it can help somebody else out, well, I'm willing to share that with you all. But I, I really ask in return, if you, if you, uh, unless you have some specific reason why you don't want to or can't subscribe or like hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. It would help us out super duper. Um, and especially if you drop a comment any activity with uh, any posts that I have are, 
are phenomenal. Uh, also, I just want to mention uh, the short the shorts that I put out. When I put out a little short, like they, YouTube calls them shorts, you know, it's just to compete with TikTok and Instagram and all this other stuff, since a lot of people just like to watch 15 second clips of stuff. Well, obviously, you can't learn anything on guitar in 15 seconds, usually. But so I, I use the shorts as a way to show people the songs I'm working on. Now, I know they have value. People say all the time to me, oh, no, I don't play at all. I just like, I like guitar, so when I see your shorts, I like to like them. I'm going to reach out, though, to people that aren't just watching the shorts because they just like that real quick 10-second thing. To anybody that wants to learn how to play any of the songs I'm playing on those real short clips, I always put a link in there. You just touch it. Like, it'll say this short is created from. And if you hit that, it takes you to the, the whole video that I have. And everything's for free. Nothing, there's, no, there's no charge for any of that or anything. Uh, so I, I believe that most people probably just aren't liking and subscribing because I'm not saying it during my videos. I know people say it at the beginning. Then they say it in the middle. Then they say it in the end. It's like a plan, you know. Man, it's just, just like everything else. You're being advertised to, and I just hate to do that. However, I know myself, I watch videos on YouTube all the time, and I always forget to subscribe or like because, you know, I set it up, I go, and then I go about my business, I put in my earbuds, and I'm listening. And then the parts that I know that I need to go back and learn, if it's a guitar or a learning video, most things I watch are educational. I like to watch uh, stuff like that or, or um, you know, environmental or stuff like that. But in any event, all right, I'm keeping you guys too long. I appreciate everybody that gives me support on the channel. And uh, I guess it might it might be cool if you think if I if I played it slowly, maybe for like a minute or so just now at the end. And when I get time I make chapters on the video so people can skip to any of these parts during the video. They don't have to like try to search for parts of the video. I'm going through now that I'm allowed to do it. It's one of the newest things that opened up to me in the creator studio that I can put chapters right inside of my videos. So usually I post a video, I send it to my student, and then when I get time during the week, I start building chapters. So if you're watching many of my videos, look in the description, you'll see where I put timestamps, like where to go to practice for two minutes, how do I explain this, you know, I break it up into parts. So if you don't wanna watch certain things, or I cut the, you can cut the, the talking parts right out. Some people like it, they say, oh no, 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 I like the whole thing, it's like watching a, a little mini show or something. That's cool. I think that's fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Uh, but also, I really get it when people are short on time. They want to go to the two minutes of the video to show you exactly what they want to learn. And then they don't want to hear me talking about nothing. That's cool, too. Some people have given me some advice. Thank you, those that told me that. I wasn't thinking of it. So I, once again, some of my uh, viewers had said, you know, too much talking, show more, stop talking. Uh, since I usually can't shut up, I have to do a compromise. <laughs> I'm still going to talk, but I'm going to give in the description. You can just, just wipe that part. You know, you could just bypass that part real easy. You'll see there'll be chapters on that little red line at the bottom. And you can just go right to the next one. And every t it'll have little spots there to show you the next chapter, all right? Yeah, YouTube's getting better by the day. I love it a lot. And um, it's just so informational. There's just so much stuff in there. Oh, my God. Uh I ha and also, I just have to say, mm, I love my Jimmy Page Les Paul. This is my, my Jimmy Page signature. I've owned this for a lot of my life. It's a 1994. Um, and I bought it in 1995, I believe, maybe six. It gets blurry. I write things down, but I have to go look at them and remember, you know. Uh, first, I have to remember where I written it down. <laughs> no, just kidding. I. I never wrote it down. I'm <laughs> just kidding again. <laughs> All right. So let me do like this. Okay. Holding my C. Oh, 
string, sixth string, fifth string. Now you stay here. And I give it a little palm muting. I love it, huh? All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Happy strumming. Pick well. Be happy. Spread the music. Live the music. Remember, live the music, and the music will live through you. Live the music, and the music will live through you. Thank you.